Hi, I'm Heather from the Museum of Natural History, and today I'm going to take Gus the Gopher Tortoise to the vet. Well, not this Gus. Let's go get the real Gus. blanket ready. Wait, why does Gus have a blanket? Blankets are really good for warm blooded animals because like us, we make our own heat. So when we put a blanket on, we trap that heat inside so we can stay warm and cozy. Gus is a cold blooded animal. He can't make his own heat. That's why he spends so much time underneath his heat lamp. So this blanket I actually have for a different purpose. It's for keeping the cold air touching Gus to try to keep him warm. All right, let's get him in his blanket. All right, looks like he woke up from his nap. Come on, Gus. It's just a little bit heavy, he's about 10 pounds. All right, let's put him in the blanket. Just like a baby. I'll get y'all wrapped up. There. <laughs> and I have made it to the vet and we're just waiting for the vet to come in so Gus can have his exam. Gus, so great to see you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suzette DeBlee. Today I'm going to be doing a physical exam on checkup on Gus the gopher tortoise. Hey, hey Gus, great to see you. Let's do our physical exam. I'm going to start just by palpating his shell and make, making sure there's no soft areas or abnormal areas on his shell. Hi Gus. One thing I always look for is mobility, of course, and movement. Gus, when he, get, when he decides to start walking, he holds himself very high off the ground and the bottom of his shell called the plastron does not touch. He's very strong.
So why are you feeling underneath the shell? I am palpating his abdomen as much as he'll let me because he's very good at bringing his hind feet in and squishing my fingers up against his plastron. <laughs> like he knows what I'm going to do. I guess. Have a closer up look at his eyes and his ears and his nose and his beak. look nice and clear. There's no discharge. Does he have any banana in his nose? <laughs> Let's have a that. look. <laughs> Sometimes he gets banana stuck in yeah, his Yeah, he's got a little bit of dry, but that's normal <laughs> for <laughs> Gus. <laughs> we'll clean that out after. Have a look at his skin color as well, too. And nails. He's got very strong forearms in the wild. They would use these forelimbs for digging their burrows. I was digging a burrow in the backyard. This Nails get worn down a little bit walking around the museum, but he's going to get. Uh, do you think his nails need to be trimmed today? I'll probably trim just a little bit off on these outside ones. He's got the inside ones worn a little bit more. Yeah. And his, we'll, we'll trim up his beak as well, too. That's pretty common for captive reptiles, captive tortoises, that they, their beak gets a little bit overgrown and they need it to be trimmed back. So we'll do that as well. We usually do that twice annually. Yeah, he looks great. So strong. <laughs> Not that way, Gus. <laughs>